10 miles north of Varkala, we visit the small fishing village on Kathil Beach. A stretch of pristine white sand bordering the southern coast of India. This is home to just a few local fishermen who earn their living from fishing the shorelines of the Arabian Sea. Massive nets are taken out into the surf by traditional wooden boats. Then, once in position, two men on each side of the nets swim back through the surf to form a giant arc around the beach's chalets. Over the next few hours, the team of fishermen collectively haul in the nets and split the catcher's profit. Okay, I think one of these smaller boats is going to come back over these massive waves. And you've got all the fishermen here just waiting for it. And I'm hoping to get a shot as the boat crashes over the waves with all these people on the right hand side. Sometimes it's, it's less about being reactive and being more proactive. So actually, I'm visualizing a shot that might not happen. So if it does, this could be good. This could be good. I'm excited about this. It looks like a scene from a film. It's cool. Quite a cool scene. One of the guys who was just helping launch that fishing boat has just gone to the back of the beach and he's sat on these rocks with kind of palm trees behind and stuff. <laughs> just giving me a wave. Um, and it's, he's just kind of looking out on the horizon at some of the other fishing boats. I then walked back to the fishing village to photograph all the fishermen bringing in the nets. I've got this guy at the back here who's just coiling in all the rope. I'm trying to eliminate as much clutter as I can. I think this could be quite good. It's almost like a working portrait, so, it's, so he's not looking at me, but he's got loads of strain in his arm as he's, as he's pulling in the net. And I've got the really cool temple in the background. This is a cool place. This is a seriously cool place. We don't do justice here, Matt. We are not worthy to be photographers. Having spent ages photographing the fishermen, it seemed only fair to spend a bit of time helping them to pull in the nets. So actually, you can just lean backwards and not grab it and it looks like you're working really hard. <laughs> <laughs> but I would feel a bit bad doing that. As they put up with us photographing them for the last like two hours. Sometimes, I think doing something like this means that you can actually then get a lot more involved and get better photographs. So before I'd have felt quite bad getting in their way or coming like right next to the rope. But I think they hopefully wouldn't mind that. Not that I've made actually any difference to their day at all. Yes, I'm about to complete my first coil. Made it. So I have to, do I have to do that again? Again, yeah, okay. Further down the beach, I noticed the boat had just returned, so ran along to grab some shots of the action. These guys are absolute machines. They've just lifted that boat, which, I mean, you can see from what they were doing, weighs an absolute ton, just kind of twisted it round and brought it out the beach. Other fishermen on the beach act independently and rely on their small boat which hugs the coastline in the hope of catching fish to be sold on the local market. He's just piecing together one of the nets that we were using when we were in the backwaters. One of the nets they just throw out, yes? Throw? Yeah. So he's got the rope here and then he's going to put it all together. This is awesome.
This guy is doing such a cool pose. He almost looks like he's posing, but he's not posing for me. He hasn't seen me. That. I've got his house in the background out of focus. That's quite a cool shot. It's so interesting seeing what they've actually caught in the net. They've got everything from crabs to little fish to big dog fish. They've got all sorts. And this is just in the small nets as well. When they bring in that massive net, I'm so interested to know what they've got in it. Can't wait. Okay, we're getting to the end stages now of of pulling in the net. And I think what's happened is that at the start, these guys here, which we didn't see for quite a long time, were on the far side of the beach. These guys are obviously where we were on the other, other side. And what they're now doing is they're coming across, coming together and pulling it in. So it's all almost like in a semicircle. And hopefully all the fish are in that last bit. So we're getting close to seeing what's actually in the catch now. Look like there's actually that many fish. There's hardly, literally, it's hardly anything. That's a lot of work, but not very many fish. All the energy's sort of died down now, and you can see everyone's quite deflated. Obviously, after all that, there's not very many fish. This might actually feed the whole village, so it's not great. Everyone's sort of very subdued. So I have absolutely no idea where both John and the massive fishing boat have gone. So I don't know quite how I've managed to lose them, but I've spotted a fishing boat round, round to the next bay. So I'm gonna go and have a look around there because I assume that that's it. Um, where am I going? I'm stuck. Nope, that's not gonna work. Try another route. Oh my God, this is epic. So there's, oh, this is so good. There's two lines of fishermen bringing in the nets right in the waves. This is so good. I've got to take a shot from here. This is just unbelievable. It's kind of like flary and slightly orange in the sky. And then you've got the silhouettes of the people. Oh, this is so good. I love it when it's kind of really gritty like this, but actually at the same time, it's just absolutely stunning. Inevitably, we decided to introduce a bit of competition. So with activity dying down on the beach, we came up with a challenge, to photograph the birds scavenging amongst the fishing boats. What we're gonna do now is, uh, since we're back together, we're gonna try and do a challenge. So there are loads of birds, kites, egrets, um, and we're gonna try and get the best shot yeah. of a bird in the frame. So it doesn't have to yeah. be of the bird, it can be yeah. of the yeah. fisherman or whatever. Yeah, that's right. Best enough. shot wins. Best shot of a bird wins. Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, here we go. Okay, there's an egret just on the top of this boat. I'm gonna try and frame it with people in front of it and just wait for the egret to make a nice shape. Oh, that might be quite good. Got loads of out of focus foreground to show the energy and then obviously the bird in the background. Oh my God, there's, there's swooping all over the place now. I don't know which one to focus on. Okay, this one, this, this guy. I don't want blue sky behind, so I just want land behind. So I'm gonna try and get them when they're slightly lower. Okay, I'm trying a completely different approach now. I'm trying to go as low as possible and get as wide as possible so I can get all the kites up in the sky. It's 
So the reason I've come and sat on these rocks here is I really want to get a photograph of the birds with the fish market behind. That's the reason they're here. They're, they're swooping in through the nets and they're nicking the fish and there's fish falling out of the boat that they're trying to eat. So that's the reason I've come here. I don't just want to get a photo of a bird. I want to get a photo of it in its context. That's why I've come here because I can get the bird with the fish market behind as they're kind of swooping down and stealing the catch. This is so hard. They're moving so fast, you're never quite sure when they're gonna swoop. And they always seem to be swooping exactly where you're not looking. Right, time to head back. I'm hot, I'm seriously, I'm so hot. seriously hot. But I really enjoyed that challenge. It was a really good end to kind of spending time on this beach. Yeah, I love this place. Uh, this random guy has just given me my, uh, my scooter key back. So I assume I left it in the You're scooter. You're completely useless. <laughs> It's actually very unlike me. It's very, it's very unlike uh, me. If you were keen, where would you be? It's a <laughs> sentence we have every single time we get back anywhere. The bird is shot all over my my seat. So it's okay though, I'll use the I'll use the, the nine of clubs just to uh, get rid of it. There we go. In the next episode, we ditch our luggage and travel by scooter through some of Kerala's most stunning landscapes. We negotiate the winding roads through the tea plantations that cover the hillsides of the Western Ghats. Matt photographs a worm on a stick. I jump heroically over a terrifying waterfall. And an alien lands on my arm.